The discovery of the three women is giving other families renewed hope to find their missing loved ones. Melanie Melanson vanished just days before her 15th birthday in the woods of Woburn. She hasn't been seen since. Bobby Sisk is live in the Satellite Center with more on her disappearance. Bobby? Well, Kate, this has been an emotional day for the family of Melanie Melanson, watching the story unfold in Ohio. Yes, they're happy for those families, but as you're about to see tonight, still heartbroken for theirs. When I saw that in the news this morning when I woke up, it devastated me. The incredible news of three missing women found alive in Cleveland, Ohio, sent Mary Ann Mishuli to tears. I'm so grateful for their family because they don't have to have that suffering and that hurt and pain anymore that we've had for 23 going on 24 years with Melanie. Mishuli and Kale and Kara Montgomery are aunts of Melanie Melanson, a 14 year old who in late October of 1989 went to a high school party in these woods and never came home. First thing I thought of was Melanie this morning when I heard it on the news. I had a dream last night that um, that we, I was standing with a bunch of people, it was mostly family, and that um, somebody came and said Melanie was alive. The latest search for answers, this forensic dig last summer. The family believes at this point, based on information they've received through the years, that Melanie is not alive. Private investigator Alan Tate, who founded Mission for the Missing, says in a case like this, there is another hope. If we can find a child's remains, it, it, it still brings them home. Melanie's mother and father died without knowing what happened to their daughter. Her aunts will keep trying to find out. Well, that's where it renews the hope that somebody, some way by the grace of God, we're going to find out what happened to Melanie. And we can have that peace. Well, the family doesn't think that Melanie left those woods that night and that possibly her body has been moved since. There have been no arrests in this case through the years. That dig back in Woburn last summer, there was some possible evidence found there. It is now being tested. I'm live in the Satellite Center tonight. Bobby Sisk, WBZ News. Kate, back to you. All right, Bobby, thank you.